Before we start selling, we need to enter some items in inventory. We do that by going to inventory, edit inventory. In here, you can add, edit, or delete items. Um, let's say we want to add uh, about 50 bottles of shampoo that we want to sell in our salon today. Um, now, uh, we just ordered 50 bottles of shampoo. These have barcodes on them, so let's say we want to sell them by scanning them with a the barcode. Uh, with the barcode scanner and we're then gonna have to put the barcode in here in this um, item number field or item ID as we call it you can either scan it or just manually type it in as long as it's the exact match the barcode goes there for barcode selling the item description is just the description that goes on the screen on the main screen as we're selling and also goes on the receipt so we'll put a nice description in there, so a supply price, let's say we get it at $3 per bottle, we want to have like a 30% markup, and our final price or sale price will be calculated at $3.90. Or if we don't do it that way, we want to uh, simply just add maybe supply price $3 and final price $4, then the software will calculate our markup for us. All the oldest pieces supply date that's just uh, let's say we want to keep track of uh, when we supply this let's say we put today's uh, date because we bought these bottles today so now we uh, can keep track for maybe expiration purposes or something like that for this product when you know the oldest piece in inventory was supplied so we keep track of this date if we want to totally optional product class uh, we don't have any pre-existing classes, otherwise we'd be able to select them in here. Uh, we're filling out the inventory for the first time, so we'll just go ahead and make our own product class here. Let's say it's hair products. Uh, inventory tracking of quantity. If you don't want to uh, track the quantity of the inventory, you definitely can select this. So a software was just going to let you sell this product in unlimited quantity never bothering to check whether you ran out of stock or not but if you do want to keep back your track of quantity uh, then you leave this uh, unselected and definitely uh, put in the quantity that you're adding today let's say we're adding 50 bottles existing quantity uh, this is just to inform you if you already have some leftover old stock from this uh, let's say we had leftover five bottles it's just gonna say five in here Right now it's empty because we don't have any anything like that. Um, low stock alert, self-explanatory. If you want to get alerted, alerts uh, as you're running low on stock for this item, select this box in here and tell the software how many uh, of the quantity you want uh, to get alerts on. Like let's say when you get down to 10 bottles of that uh, shampoo, it's going to start alerting you that you have your low on stock and you need to reorder. Uh, needs to be weighed. That's self-explanatory. If you want to uh, weigh this product as you sell it, so you're not just going to add, enter quantity when you sell it. Like, I don't know, you're selling two bottles, enter quantity two. So the final price gets calculated two times four, eight. If you want a cashier to be asked to put this on a scale to be weighed, you click this. And then it's gonna be uh, you're selling it, you're scanning or whatever. It's gonna tell the cashier put it on a scale to weigh it. Gets the weight information and calculates the final price by that. Let's say two pounds times you know four dollars. Your final price is gonna be eight dollars then of the sale. Or it doesn't have to be pounds exactly. It can be whatever your local uh, weight measure is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deselect this because definitely we don't want to weigh this item. Invoice path, that's just the, uh, to keep track of uh, digital invoices. Let's say the supplier gave you an invoice via email, like in a Word format or something like that. So you have a Word file that you saved on your PC somewhere for the invoice of uh, supplying these 50 bottles of shampoo. Then uh, you can add that location of that file right here and the name of the file so you can uh, actually look it up easier when it's time to reorder if you want to see how your previous order looked like supplier name uh, let's just add one in here we're gonna go with like a fictional uh, name in here we're gonna make up one let's say it's USA salon wholesalers um, that's just to inform you uh, 
more for reordering purposes you know who your supplier is tax let's say our state uh, taxes at seven percent for general goods so shampoo we're gonna tax at seven percent maximum commission let's say we're gonna give out maximum commission at 30 percent for this item uh, and we say maximum because you know in here you tell the software what the absolute maximum commission you can give out for this product is and of course as we showed you in previous videos when you enter employees in the employee table for each employee you can designate how much of the maximum commission you're gonna give them to some employees you can give the maximum commission to some employees if they haven't been in the company for long enough like they're newer you can give them a little less maybe you wanna give them half of the maximum commission that's why in here we say we designate the absolute maximum of the commission for this uh, item supplier web that's just the website of your supplier you can enter it in here if you want to track that it certainly helps to have that information for reordering purposes and for the same purposes you can track the supplier phone number if you want to enter it here comments about supplier you can write whatever you want to comment in here about the supplier something to remember next time you reorder like let's say this supplier expect payment in cash or whatever and now we just click the add button in here to add this to inventory I'm going to confirm our action and it's going to inform us that it's been successfully updated now let's say we want to add another item for which we don't want to scan with a barcode let's say we don't have barcodes on this item even though with our software you can create your own barcodes uh, we'll talk about that in another video tutorial so if we just want to sell an item simply by typing in with the keyword literally the item number item ID as we sell then we can maybe make up our own item number item ID something short easy to remember you know how about a suave conditioner so some kind of an abbreviation of that we'll go ahead and put the description for this let's say it's a 10 ounce bottle let's say we supply it at I don't know uh, five dollars a bottle and we'll sell it at uh, seven dollars a bottle it's gonna figure out our markup of course uh, product class we can use hair products same one tax pre-fills automatically as soon as we select the tax uh, the product class uh, let's say we're not gonna track quantity for this one supplier name let's say it comes from the same supplier as soon as we select it it's going to pre-fill these for easy work uh, maximum commission let's say on this one we're gonna give only 20 percent commission then we're gonna go ahead and click add confirm the action and it's been successfully updated and lastly let's say we wanna add an item that we're gonna sell by using our buttons that we created in here the quick buttons um, as we informed you previously when we we're creating these buttons if you're gonna do that uh, you need to have the item ID or item number match the exact name of the button so you need to you know whatever the name of the button is uh, correctly uh, and exactly type it in here as an item number item ID if you don't want to misspell and you don't want to type avoid errors there's a simple way of doing this shortcut if you will just click on the button and will tell you it doesn't exist in inventory would you like to add it now we'll click yes and the item number is automatically filled out for us now we'll just go ahead and fill in the description uh, let's say for this service because it's a service we don't have any uh, cost so we're just gonna enter zero if you do have costs you can enter no matter how small the cost is enter the accurate cost you know keep track of that uh, let's say we wanna sell these at uh, fifty dollars uh, each it's gonna calculate the markup now product class we definitely wanna do a uh, service for this one it graded out in here so that it's protected class you know you don't make a mistake in editing or something do not track quantity let's say that's what we want in here supplier name it's gonna be us let's say salon our salon you know let's say our tax is zero in our state for services we don't tax services maybe maximum commission we can give 50% maybe on this one just go ahead and click add and it adds it in your inventory 